Calvin Gastine at Northeastern Clinton Central School on a windy, rain-threatening day. It's the Pizza Hut Boys Soccer Tournament. Tom Harrigan trying to hang on to his hat. He's brought his Peru Indians here to face the I believe all Sable Valley Patriots. Off the crossbar. It's eight and a half minutes into the game. It's been a quiet afternoon, but uh, all of a sudden clouds started forming to the northwest. And it got very dark in that direction. And it looked like the wind might be blowing in a storm. It's 2-0. We uh, were locked out of our booth again here. Nice save. It's 2-0. Uh, we were locked out of our booth. Been taping here for 22 years. And we've been promised the key. Until we get it. We uh, can't get in here to videotape. They started a few minutes before the 5.30 scheduled start time which is quite understandable considering the weather we appear to have on the horizon and uh, we arrived a little late a little late we've been pouring cement all afternoon or make mixing cement actually and uh, this plane got here late prior to the scheduled start time, but uh, a little too late to get our rosters. Indians looking for another goal. A white throw. That infraction, we thought we'd come out here and take a look at the back of the booth. Seems to be the major area of concern right here. It's very dark on the horizon, and all that appears to be coming in this direction. There are quite a few hardy souls, though, who decided to uh, nice corner kick to uh, brave the the elements and uh, come out. They are out here and uh, <laughs> the rain comes, it's going to come hard and fast. Blue kick.
Right, keeper will play it. 25 minutes to go in the first half. Abbreviated first half as far as hometown cable is concerned. Larry Bellrill is the official on the far side and Clark Hurdick on our side. I say, did I, did I say Larry Bayshard? I hope I did. Larry Bayshard and Clark Hurdick are the officials. Just missing. Clock keeps a ticking. A goal kick. Wind holds it up. Ball did not come out. Offside. Indians continuing to control play. Corner kick. This game being played on September 2nd, 2005. We're now a few days after Hurricane Katrina. And in the past, when you thought of hurricane, you thought of immediate destruction and then the recovery. That has not been the case this time. Immediate destruction and then more. With the flooding and all. And now everybody's trying to put the blame uh, for the lack of the relief effort on somebody else's shoulders. Everybody's trying to blame somebody. Instead of concentrating on getting their problems solved and getting things done. They, everybody's got to blame somebody, including the media. The media should have been more reactive and not just uh, not just watching what was going on and reporting they should have been proactive and getting things accomplished they they're there they're right on the front line they're seeing things that the relief help can't see and uh, they have more power than the than what they use when it comes to uh, getting relief help and they could have been doing a lot more the major news media if somebody's out uh, in the water drowning they figure it's their duty to uh, record the event rather than help out no, it's not the case we need the, the news reported but you can 
do something to save somebody's life, that's the first, that's your first responsibility. kick 17.53 here in the first half both goals coming before our camera started once our camera started to roll uh, the, goalings, the goal scoring ceased but Peru is leading Ball still alive just outside of our camera view. Throw. Real Sable Valley goal kick, kicking into the wind. Show you that corner flag just to give you an idea of the severity of the wind out there. save. Peru corner kick. He's lucky he didn't deflect that one in. There's another corner kick coming. Come on, more tight, Blue. Wait, throw. Find someone, run with him. Let's go, Blue. Patriots with the ball. Blue throw. Daring move. He's able to grab it. Oh, 
Blue throw. Corner kick coming. White shirts don't get in there until the kick is off. Down to 10 20 to go in the First half, 2 0 Peru leading Alcebo Valley. Pizza Hut Classic tip off tournament at Northeastern. <laughs> My official key has arrived. <laughs> Want to check it? Have you checked it? So Cougar Athletic Director Josie Gilroy just delivering our key. So. have to worry about uh, finding a way to get in the booth. Indians on the attack. A goal kick. Eight minutes to go in half. White throw. Through controls. Faked everybody out. Patriots carry it out. We will not be getting the championship game of this tournament. This is a Friday, September 2nd, and on September 3rd, Big events going on at Shazy. I've been here all week, so it's only fair that they spend a little time in Shazy. able to keep the ball in the penalty area here you know something's going to happen eventually
goal kick with 440 on the clock. Indians at the 18 inside and right to the keeper gets loose and on the rebound it's 3-0 in favor of Peru should be no assist and that it came off the keeper but chances are they'll give one I'm in a tin building and I'm getting the distinct sound of raindrops on tin 409 left in the first half Westport and Northeastern play in the second game, if there is one. It's been a warm day, and if it's a cold front coming in, you have to anticipate that there could be thunder and lightning and then their hills white throw. Corner kick with 3.15 showing. Three nothing Peru. saying look for a white shirt first I have to get my foot on the ball coach two minutes to go in the first half blue kick Opportunity for the Indians. Fifty four seconds. throw. Patriots would like to at least get a shot off here. Blue throw, we're down to 10. So the first half is going to come to an end with the Indians leading the Patriots 3-0 here on Hometown Cable, viewer supported local televisions. Stick around, there's a good chance we'll have a second half coming right up. Second half has just begun. No 
wind uh, is blowing <clears throat> mainly from the west. Well, it's not particularly helping either team on the field. Coming down uh, fairly good, but uh, not as bad as it could be coming down, obviously. Late throw. Patriots with the toss. Tom Harrigan on the other end sounding like uh, Simon and Garfunkel saying, you gotta get back, Zach. Get a new plan, Stan. Back again. And it's going to be a goal. Uh, I'll make it 4 nothing. Alright, Thompson from Armsby. And it's 4 nothing. And 3 minutes and 19 seconds into the second half. We've got rain, but uh, no thunder. The Patriots. Ball's turned around. Keeper comes way outside. I did that one time. Coming down real good now. Nice, uh, nice rain at the moment. Headed to the keeper. Soccer is a lot of fun right here. Fun for everybody. Yeah. 
blue push 33 30 Indians bring it back And I stop. Yes, very good. Howard Labombard mining the nets for the Patriots. And on the Indian side, it's Josh Giroux. Goal kick. Goal kick. Kick for the Indians. This one you think it's raining kind of hard, it uh, comes down, up and down a little bit harder. <coughs> Throw. Looks like a rain drop found its way onto our lens. Nice save. From the corner, there's the kick. That's where the wind kicks off. 27 minutes to go in the second half. Injured player for the Patriots. Action resumes. There's a goal kick. The ball stayed in play.
Light throw. Thompson again. Makes it five nothing. Twenty four twenty two showing. And the goal was scored. Five nothing Peru. Quite throw. Or Shin Garnell, the shoe. Sable Valley. Five nothing to score. Pizza Hut. Classic winner to face the winner of Northeastern and Westport. Twenty minutes to go in the game. Indians want another one. And they're going to get it. Armsby. Well, scores now six to nothing. Nineteen oh seven left. Let's go. 
toss it wide. Sixteen thirty six left in the game. Six nothing the score. We're just kind of pointing the camera at the at the ball. We're you know, shoveling cement, making cement, mixing it all day. I stopped, and after the first half of this game, our hands started to cramp up. Alright, with our hand cramping up, we're unable to squeeze the camera to hold it there to give you a smoother picture. So it'll either be this or nothing. Headed. Now stays in play. Kick. It's in. Yes. Off the corner kick. The Patriots scored 6 1. All right, Matt Hamilton with a goal. We have a rainbow. We have, a, we have rain. We have sunshine. We've got it all. Hard rain and sunshine and a rainbow. Dorothy be far away. Twelve and a half to go. Six one to score now. Let that sunshine fool you. You can hear it pouring out there. A double rainbow now. <laughs> sunshine, double rainbow, and pouring rain. Eleven and a half to go. Makes the stop. They're trying to hold the camera without holding it. Now 
Nice stop. I love on vibe. Now here's our double rainbow. One of them is pretty pronounced. The outer ring is uh, less so. Ten and a half to go. Seven fifty remaining. Game one of the Pizza Hut Classic. The winner faces the winner of Northeastern and Westport. The championship game and the consolation game will not be seen on hometown cable. We'll be busy inaugurating the. Uh, Z Field. This is uh, Friday the 2nd. That will happen on Saturday the 3rd. throw and the uh, number 13 lucky he didn't get a card he thought it was light throw and it wasn't he uh, kind of slowly gently kicked the ball aside he had it in his hands ready to throw it the blue kick 540 on the clock Goal kick. That knob is going to go, believe me. I took the corner kick while we were getting rid of that knob. be a goal kick. Three fifty to go. Six one the score, Peru leading off Sable Valley. Non league. Blue throw. It's called We're down to 208 in the game. Zero makes the stop.
Indians with another shot just over the top. Goal kick. One minute to go. Blue kick. That'll do it. We got three seconds. Let's be a 6 1 win for Peru. They'll advance to the championship game. Patriots will play the consolation game. The next match will, is Northeastern and Westport. So the winners and losers will play each other. So that's the way it was. September 2nd, 2005. Thanks for watching and for those of you supporting viewer supported local television, hometown cable, win, lose, or draw TV worth your support.